Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes, today I just want to take you through on how to design price list in Photoshop. Yes, and I have done some. I have done some like this. Yes, and I just want you to check through that like this one. Okay, and I want us to do either different one or something just that looks like this okay but however this one is a client thing and i wouldn't like maybe someone to use that for his also clients so what we need to do is that let us do some modification or let us do something best on this yes so first of all what we need to do is to create our new background our new document sorry and then we'll call it price list price list and then international paper and I will want it in A3 then I will click OK just like this okay so the first thing I need to do is that sometimes I work with the background then I complete everything but what I need to do is that I just want to design this price uh, price tag before I do everything on it so that our work will be somehow easy yes so first of all what i need to do is to create a new document then i'll call it price i'll call it price price tax okay you get that so the first thing i have to do i just want to make some background just like this okay so that i can be seeing what i'm doing wow okay so first of all let me just come and pick a tool here called rectangular marking tool over there then i will just draw something like this okay not that bigger and then i will change the color to white pure white like this okay and for here i'll just drag this one in okay just try to drag it in just like that okay okay yes let me drag it even more okay then i'll have a something like this okay just like this so the next thing i have to do is to come up it will come again and click on the rectangular marking tool then i'll come to custom shape and then i'll choose this particular shape okay and then the next thing i have to do is to just draw that particular thing by holding shift so that I'll have a perfect distance over right there, just like that. Okay, just like this. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is to press Ctrl T to transform it. Then I'll right click and flip vertical so that it will be like this. Okay, then I'll have it like that. I'll just move that one to somewhere here, like that. And then I'll just move this one in, just like this. Okay. And then the next thing I have to do is to come up with a what is the name ingredient. So for this one, I'll just click over here. Then I'll click on this field. Then I'll click on gradient like this. You get that? Then I'll just choose one particular gradient over here, just like this. And then I'll just flip it, just like this. Okay. Yes. And then the next thing I have to do is that I will just create some kind of watermark distance on the on on it i'll create a circle then i'll change it to white and then i'll right click here and then clip it in then i'll move it in somewhere like this and i'll just reduce the field to somewhere like that okay and then i'll just duplicate that one then i'll move that one to here then i'll duplicate that one too and move it somewhere here and then those two i'll just create a clipping mask in it just like that okay and then i'll duplicate this one to be in a sector just like this okay that is how it will be you get that yes so i'll just have this one just like this and this one is the tag one that we just have like that and then the next thing I have to do is to come and give it another top 
layer like this and that layer should be white like that okay just like this you get that yes so with based on the information on it i'll just come and copy it some information over here this one i will just copy some of the information over here so that i will not get uh, difficulty in this okay so i'll just copy this one to this one you get it and then i'll increase the size create the size just like this okay yes and then this one is regular package that one is a regular package so i'll just come and copy the regular package over here just like this regular package okay then i'll just paste it there like that and then that one too i'll increase the distance to fit in just like this and then i'll just make some adjustment on it so that it will look perfect then i'll have it like this okay and that is what i'll have it okay i just want us to make it far different from what i did so that we won't get confused so the next thing i have to do is that i just have to copy this thing over there then I'll just copy this one and I'll come and put it somewhere right there just like this okay so the next thing I have to do is to just draw something like this to over there and then that one too I'll change the color to this same gradient color there and then I'll just flip it to like this and then over here i'll just drag it to the end so i'll have something like this over there then i'll have it something like this okay and the next thing i have to do is to come and write book now on it okay book now and then i'll just reduce the size to somewhere 18 18 is too small okay, let me just have it 30 okay like this you get that yes so the next thing i have to do is that i just want to come up with a letter a like that and then that particular letter a i'll change the color to black and what i need is that i need this particular this particular shape there or this particular vector there so i'll just click on this one then i'll double click when i double click then i'll come to characters then i'll choose a font and this particular font i'll come and choose image one like this okay then where you can see uh, for the day when you choose images then you can get a whole of images there so you can just choose any of them you know we have used this in that particular distance so what we need to do is to use different one so that you'll get what i really do it okay so i'll use this one then i'll move that one to here then i'll just duplicate it on those tags there like that okay just like this okay so from this one i don't want it to be like this so i just have to let it go over somewhere like this then i'll just transform this one just like that okay then i'll have it somehow like that and then uh, this one this one goes this one goes to this and this one goes to that and then this one i want some spaces to be in the distance so i'll just come and increase this one to 20 let's say let me say 36 okay let me make it 48 okay so 48 i don't see what i'll get okay i'll have something like this okay so this one can come over here and then this one can go over here and then this one can go over here just like that okay so 
I want it to be in line. I'll click here and I'll hold shift to select all just like that. Okay. Then the next thing I have to do is just click on over this one, this one over there, so that to set that it to be in line, just like that. So I can have something like this, and that's the price tag for this one that I have just done. So so the next thing I have to do is that this particular one. I'll just put some shadow to it and that shadow should come somewhere here okay and then I'll increase this one over there then I'll just click OK just like this but this particular shapes I want to change the color I don't like it so I'll just group those colors in a group like this then I'll come out with a color then I'll right click, then I'll do what I'll create a clip mask. Then I'll just change the color to this different color. You get that. And what I need to do is that I'll start uh, using this, and then I'll just get uh, some bright color for it. So I'll use subtract. So when I use subtract, get this kind of thing I'll have there. Okay. So that is just all for now yes so for all of this one there all of this i'll group it in one then sorry just like this one so let me come group this one in a distance then i'll group this price tag to in one distance like that and then i'll call that one one just one okay and then this one this one too should be added to this one and that one should be at the last of the distance just like this okay yes so the next thing i have to do is to get duplicate this one and this one will come over here then i will duplicate another one and then one will go somewhere here you get that so what i need to do is that because i want all of them to go in one distance i'll just transform it down like that then i'll let this one i'll let it come in the middle just like this yes you get that yes so i can have something like this okay i can have something like this so the next thing I have to do is that I just want to modify some of the distance to for the tutorial sake I won't get time to put all this on all that on it because it will waste much of my time and the tutorial is going to be long so I just want to back with you then I'll fast forward it then I'll just fix some certain things to this one then we go over that so just keep watching Yes, welcome back so this is how I'll have it like this and this one will be okay for me so the next thing I have to do is to work with the top this thing over there yes I have to work with the top so the first the top what I need to do is to introduce another this thing just like this over there and that one should come down like this okay and then I'll just give it a, a gradient color just like this just color gradient color like this okay then the next thing i have to do is i have downloaded the picture that i would like to use on this particular this thing so let me see okay let me just use one of these pictures over there and then i'll just bring it on this one then i'll just create a clip and mask in there just like that okay then I'll just transform it just like this just like this okay and then I'll move it to somewhere color it or gradient somewhere like this or is it 
check here down how it's now like this then what i need is that i just have to change this one okay have it like this and then i'll try and make i'll just try and change it to different this thing okay okay then i'll just make it somewhere like this okay then i'll reduce the opacity so that the distance will go in just like that go in just like this then i'll have it somewhere like this okay so the next thing i have to do is to just come and write the levels events events just like this okay and then i'll just give it tab like this should be here and then the next thing i have to do is just change that particular distance to this particular distance then i'll just move it in like that and then i'll try and reduce the size to just like this okay yes so the next thing i have to do is to come up with uh, another text muslims bridal bridal okay then that one i'll change the font to poppies and then i'll reduce that one to size to be somewhere like here okay then i'll just introduce a line and this one will go on top there then i'll have something like this over there okay and then this one i'll try and make the color to different color over there okay then i'll change this particular color to black the text color should be black then i'll just make it somewhere bold okay yes so let's work now with this one then we now come back so this one i just want to make some adjustment to it and then i'll have a deep orange color over right there just like that then i'll have it like this and then i'll just convert it to smart object so that the distance will appear very well for me you get that yes so we are just getting to the end of the day the tutorial so the next thing i have to do is to put in the pictures they sent to me to do that particular distance over there so what i need to do is to come and pick a tool called here pen tool over there just like that and then what i need to do is that i'll just create a new layer just like this and then i'll just click here then i'll just do something like that over there okay then i'll just have a shape like this over there okay then i'll right click on this one then i'll come to field path then i'll just click ok then i'll have something like this then i'll click ok then i'll just right click and then delete the path then i'll have something like this over there. okay yes so the next thing i have to do is that I'll move it somewhere like this okay because I want the pictures to appear very well and when I move it like this then I will introduce another shape here and that particular shape should come with this one and then I'll just hold shift and select these two layers then I'll just convert it to smart object so that I can easily edit it when I want okay then I'll have something like this over there. Okay, yes. So the next thing I have to do is to go and import in the picture. So first of all, I'll use this particular picture over there. Then I'll just transform it down like that. Okay, then I'll right click and create a clipping mask so that it will go into the only the shape there. Then I'll have it something like that. Okay. Then the next thing is to go in and pick another picture, just like this one. 
talks the same information but I just want us to have some speed up design without any more time wasting okay then I will just come up and pick another one like this and this then I'll just create a clipping mask that one too so that to go in and then I'll just transform it just like this okay just like this so what I need to do is to duplicate this one the down this thing and then I'll change that one particular that color to white then I'll just let it come out just like this okay so we are just getting to the end of the tutorial so what I need to do over here is that I want to have a some background at the distance over there so that I don't get confused so what I need to do is to click here I've downloaded some particular background 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 is it okay this one so that particular background will take over that particular portion there just like this okay and that one i'll just add a gaussian black color to it so that it will show too much okay just like that then i'll have something like this at the end of the tutorial yes so this is how we design price list for a client yes so this particular distance was a client for level events they wanted a price tag like this okay and i just designed it and i just this was what i designed for them yes and that is what i use as my tutorial okay so thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics if you have any question you can ask in the comment section and if you are new here can do subscribe to my youtube tutorial and if you are already a subscriber thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics have a nice day bye bye